A new policy from the Beaufort County Passive Parks Department is frustrating some ecotourism business owners. Our Low Country reporter Ryan Desmaneski spoke with the Passive Park Director and the bird watching tour operator to hear what the dispute is really all about. That new policy from the Beaufort County Passive Parks Department states that any business, big or small, who wishes to use parks like the one I'm standing in for things like tours or educational programs will have to give 10 days notice as well as pay a fee from anywhere from 50 to $200. Jennifer Clementoni and her husband run Birding Beaufort, a bird watching tour company that showcases the birds of the low country. They run tours around Beaufort and the Sea Islands, often using a couple of the county's passive parks. She told me the new policy threatens her business. 10 days notice really cuts into probably at least 50% of our tours. A passive parks director told me the changes came about because people were concerned that activities taking place on passive parks were limiting public access. She said the 10 days notice gives park employees the proper amount of time to schedule the various businesses in the area. So some businesses may have things come up last minute, um, but other businesses don't. And because of the uh, large number of requests that we get for use of these properties, we need to be able to schedule those appropriately. With the new rule, Clementoni says it'll be hard to break even since people tend to book less than 10 days before tours and the cost of a tour is around $35. The thought that some of us are having that we may have to close up shop because this impacts us so so greatly, uh, it's devastating when you put your heart and soul into a small business. Najat explained that the department ran the numbers and found that on a 10 person tour for $25 a person, the fee is around 6%. There is an opportunity to reevaluate one's business plan when it comes to how much is being charged. Najid told me that businesses can explore other opportunities with parks outside of the passive park system, something that Clementoni told me she is already doing. In the meantime, citizens are free to go to whichever park they choose. You can find a list of passive parks on our website, WTOC.com. Reporting from Beaufort County, Ryan Tisbaneski, WTOC News. First alert, meteorology.